Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. A very, very quick video. But yeah, basically they did a dev blog basically explaining uh, the radar and missile updates. Uh, there was not a lot of talks about it so uh, on their official channel. So yeah, this is very good actually. So yeah, let's get into it. So the same sites of uh, SAM vehicles and IRSTs of those vehicles were changed as you know so you can see here for example uh the top tier page go beyond the 10 kilometer range the range of the irst of the fakrad rakrad and the ito is 15 kilometers is irst of the tor is um added and the tunguska is 12 kilometers and irst of pre top at the aircraft systems lavad type 93 mach bed Sidan 25 and the Mistral has been increased to 10. So yeah, that was already shown, but still pretty cool that they are doing this. Radar warning systems are backed and boosted. Uh, there were uh, was a, basically an annoying issue that was disabling the laser detectors and radar warning systems uh, of armored vehicles and aircraft, so they fixed that. And they increased the range, especially for RWRs on aircraft. So now they have a realistic one. I already did uh, a video talking about the data mines. Uh, basically, the the SPO-15 on the aircraft is 65 kilometers. Uh, on the ADF specifically is, uh, and the Kafirs, it's 70 kilometers. And then F-14, the normal F-16s, MLU, all these other aircraft, Mirage, it's all um, 50 kilometers. So yeah, increased on that. Induced drag swing missiles. This is the bigger change, change obviously. Uh, they increased the induced drag or the lift induced drag or the, the drag that it's created by the lift of the uh, wings, basically. So, yeah. Uh, so, you have more drag. The missiles have more energy. So, now they are more, a little bit more realistic. And apparently, according to some... Uh, talks on the forums, apparently it is due to the Sparrow missile being overperforming, indeed. So, I don't know if this is true or not, but they are saying that apparently uh, the Sparrow was indeed overperforming, and it was one of the main reasons why they actually introduced this type of a more realistic drag um, to make it everything a little bit more realistic, right? Uh, I still think that uh, there are some things that maybe need to be changed, but this is a very good change. And I think even though, yes, missiles are going to be a little bit less effective, uh, they are way more realistic this way. Um, and now it's a little bit harder to get kills from 40 kilometers, uh, 60 kilometers. I mean, it was really easy to do that. And basically, it rewards players that actually learn how to do maneuvers against these missiles. Uh, it is not like it's not just a crank that you will save you. Of course, it depends on the, the distance, but um, I noticed that the missiles will still hit you if you don't turn. You need to actually properly do the maneuvers, you know. So, yeah, um, making it very visible that the main thing is where when the missiles are turning, they lose a lot more energy than before, right? Uh, so, yeah, not just the crank, the crank will help, obviously. But doing the actual notch and against an, a radar missile or actually trying to evade the IR missile uh, will be more rewarding now. So yeah, pretty cool. And with that, a video is coming up about it fairly soon. But I do think that this is an opening for better missiles to be added in the game without being too OP. You know? So yeah, very cool. Um, another thing is that uh, they actually fixed it with today's update, the incorrect display of the gun crosshair in the HUD of some aircraft uh, that basically the, the lead indicator was kind of weird. A lot of people were even commenting on the videos that it is kind of weird still. So apparently they fixed that. We have to test it out to see if it's actually fixed it because some of the things were meant to be fixed yesterday. And for example, the TWS was too making the lead indicator jump around so yeah and they tell told us that that was going to be fixed so it, and it wasn't so we need to test it out maybe there are some aircraft that are still there and if they are you i mean a bug report would be welcomed if you noticed anything right but anyway this is it just some fairly not that important news but pretty cool nonetheless but anyway i hope you enjoyed make sure to subscribe and i see you guys 
on the next one. Bye, guys. See you.